I'm Teresa Allen. Teresa Allen, and what are you going to show us today? I'm going to make something called Strawberry Mini Cheesecake Cups, and it's from my new book, The Flavor of Wisconsin, for kids. For kids? Yeah, it's for kids. Um, definitely have an adult, you know, especially if it's a kid who's not used to the kitchen. A lot of these ingredients can be bought locally? Yep, absolutely. At the farmer's market um, or in the grocery stores, we got good Wisconsin dairy in it. Um, we have some uh, cream cheese, some heavy cream. We'll have strawberries from the farmer's market. We have oh, some wonderful. great strawberries and honey from the farmer's market. We have a little bit of an orange and that's not from the farmer's market. Oh. Well, for any recipe, whether you're an adult or kids, you you know you want to start by having everything set up so that yeah. when you start to cook, you got everything in front of you. So what we're setting up here is a pot of boiling water. We're going to use that to help cook um, the 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 cheesecakes. They're kind of like a custard, so that's going to help them cook. And we'll tell you about that later. Okay. And we want to set up a pan with four. You can do this with six. I'm going to do four, so we have nice, good size helpings today. We're going to make um, cheesecake. Now, cheesecake you think of as a dessert but this is um, actually an unsweetened cheesecake so it's oh, really? something that you can have for breakfast if you like with fruit on top uh -huh. um, and or you could add a little sugar to it and make it a dessert also though there will be a little bit of sugar in the or honey in the topping uh, with sure. the fruit so but we're going to start cheesecake is not always sweet um, no, it doesn't have to be always sweet. It's actually kind of a custard because if you think about making a custard like say for a quiche mm -hmm. and you have cream and egg and it sets, that's exactly the same thing that happens with the cheesecake, only you have cheese in there too. And in this case it's um, cream cheese. So we have one eight ounce package of cream cheese and it's softened so it's at room temperature. Okay. And then we're going to take about, let's see, we're going to take a half a cup of heavy cream. Mm -hmm and add that and we're going to take about a teaspoon of vanilla extract there we go it's about a teaspoon about a teaspoon uh -huh. yeah <laughs> It's like a teaspoon and a splash. Yeah, it's a teaspoon and a splash works too. I like vanilla. I do too. And then this is what this is a really great flavor component. Orange um, peel, actually. Oh. That bright orange part on the outside of the of the orange is really flavorful, and it goes with most fruits really well. It goes with strawberries really well. Oh. It also goes with um, things like rhubarb or blueberries, um, cherries, etc. So I'm gonna uh, grate about two tea about two teaspoons. Um, right into here and it's going to give a lot of flavor without adding the juice and making it too uh, liquidy. Well I can smell that. And you can I, smell it, me I too. Away from you. That is yeah, beautiful. yeah, that's a wonderful, wonderful smell. Uh, so what got, is that that you're using? This is a microplane. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, Bill. They're just great. So I've got just those few ingredients there and I'm going to take um, mix master really easy. You can use a whisk and do this by hand if you want. Uh -huh. And now we're going to make some noise and get this nice and creamy. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know, I forgot an ingredient. I forgot the eggs. Oh. I knew there was something wrong there. All right, two eggs. How can it be a custard without the eggs, right? right. What is a custard exactly? A custard is egg and cream. Uh -huh. um, that is uh, baked together um, and they solidify. The egg sets the cream uh -huh. or sets the milk, or in this case, the cream cheese too, um, into uh, a very delicate custard. <laughs> okay, one. And these are also eggs from the farmer's market, of oh. course. So a custard is, is usually egg and milk product. Gotcha. You, got, you can make a, you know, a dessert custard, you can make a cheese that's a custard, okay. um, this uh, cheesecake is a custard, okay. or custard-like, see how quickly it becomes very smooth, and you do want to whip a little bit of air into it, but it doesn't have to get fluffy, just smooth. This is a fun part for kids, I think, I don't know, I always, always wanted to be the one who got to use the beaters. <laughs> okay, I am going to scrape this down. All right, and then I'm going to spoon it into my custard cups or just pour it. Can you see that all right there? Yep. I'm going to go about halfway to three quarters up. It's going to puff a little bit when it's in the oven, ah. but then it's going to drop back down again. 
And if you want smaller portions, you can use uh, smaller cups and also um, go for six on this. Okay. What I'm going to do, we're going to come back to the boiling water here. And um, you want to cook uh, custards very gently because otherwise the eggs will curdle um, and you won't have a smooth result. Uh -huh. um, so what you do is cook them gently. And by having a little bit of very hot water in here, you come up to about halfway up the sides. Uh -huh. Notice I'm not pouring it into the cups themselves. I'm pouring it around. Right. And so of course, if you've got a kid involved in here, you want to be very careful with this hot water. Yeah. And I'm going to cover it with some, some aluminum foil. So I'm putting a lid on here and what it's going to do, it's going to create a gentle heat in here. Rather than cooking very directly, it's going to cook at about 325. Mm -hmm. And these will take, oh, probably about 15 to 20 minutes oh, depending that's on. That's it. Okay, so it's in the oven. It'll go for that 15 or 20 minutes just until it's kind of set. And then I turn the oven off. And to keep that heat gentle and to keep the uh, cheesecake from cracking, um, we're going to cool it down in the oven with the oven off for about oh. another 15 minutes or so, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Oh. And then you let it cool completely, um, take it out, uh, uh, you know, put it on your uh, cake rack, take the little cups out, let it cool off, chill it for about an hour because mm -hmm. that's it tastes, it tastes very good when it's cold, though you could have it either way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make... Um, um, a little topping for it. Oh, nice. Here's two of them that are finished. And you can see that they rose up a little bit and dropped down, so there's just enough room uh, to put some fruit on the top. So that's normal. That's the way they're supposed that's to That's what look. happens, right. They do rise a little bit because that egg creates a puffiness, okay. and then they settle back down. All right, so there's, okay, that's good to know. So it's June. The farmer's market is just uh, going crazy with strawberries right now. And as you look in these, you can see how um, red they are through the middle. See how gorgeous Very that red. is? Yeah. That's flavor. That's nutrition. That's a homegrown farmer's market strawberry. I think some of these came from Hex. Mm -hmm. And then I also got some at the Wednesday farmer's market this past week. If, if you can eat them the same, if you're going to eat them the same day, don't put them in the refrigerator. The flavor is definitely better, uh, you know, at room temperature. And the refrigerator okay. does take, that chill takes a little bit of the flavor away. And then we'll take a little bit of honey. This is Marsden's honey, also from the farmer's market. It's the guy with the, with the, uh, the bees nest for the hat. Yes. Uh -huh. So I've got about two tablespoons of honey. And you're going to top with this gorgeous, delicious strawberry topping with a little honey. Doesn't that look good? That looks just delicious. Wouldn't you want to have that if you were a kid? <laughs> and, and, and what a wonderful breakfast. Let me tell you this too, because this, is, this particular one is made with um, June strawberries. But of course, um, let's see, rhubarb is in season also. Ah. Um, I also get from the farmer's market every year uh, blueberries um, uh -huh. and I freeze them and I still have a few left just a package or two left from last year so, so I sweetened these up I cooked them with a little tiny bit of sugar okay and I also from last July had some Door County cherries Wow! and I sweetened those up so these came right out of the freezer um, and the rhubarb is from the farmers market so you could do any one of these kinds of toppings uh, with, um, with cheesecake cups. You could also make this cheesecake in one larger uh, pan if you'd like, but I think the individual ones are the, ones are the most fun.